If your jaw is uneven, deviates to one side, or it pops, or you notice that your face is asymmetrical, then you need to try this exercise sequence that takes no time at all to fix it. To be able to work the muscles on one side of the face and not the other, you have to make sure your facial muscles are relaxed enough so you're not clenching or doing anything counterproductive. An easy way to do that is to take your fingers on these big muscles right here. This is called your masseter. You're gonna apply it two out of 10 pressure and push upward. Open your mouth as far as you can, getting a nice gentle stretch through the masseter. I usually do five to 10 opens before I go to the first move in our sequence. And this exercise helps work the pterygoid muscles, which help deviate the jaw in the opposing direction. Lie on your back with your knees bent and place a towel roll under your neck. This will help get your neck in a position that makes it easier easy for the jaw to go forward, which is critical to get these muscles working. With your tongue on the roof of your mouth, move the jaw forward and away from the side that is deviated on. So if your jaw is more to the left, you're gonna be pushing your jaw to the right. Take your index finger and place it on your jaw, applying a three to four out of 10 pressure. This will help work the pterygoid muscle if you maintain jaw position. I'll do five to 10 sets of a 10 count hold with this movement. But moving the jaw away from the deviation is only one piece of the puzzle. There are so many other muscles that are involved in jaw and face asymmetries. And this next move, works by far the most important of them. And that muscle is your tongue. If you can move your tongue independently of your jaw, that ensures that your jaws are in a good position, which is a little bit more forward in the joint. If you're someone who has a low resting tongue posture, where your tongue sits in the bottom of the mouth, or you can't move your jaw and tongue independently of one another, you might have problems that contribute to this asymmetry in your face and jaw. Taking the exact same exercise we did to move the jaw, we can increase the difficulty by moving the tongue in the opposite direction, pushing into the cheek. If that's too difficult, you can start by sticking your tongue out of your mouth and slowly swiping it away from the jaw. Use the same set and rep scheme that we did with the previous version. But the tongue isn't the only major influence that contributes to asymmetry or unevenness in the jaw and the face. There's one area of the craniofacial region that almost everyone neglects when it comes to fixing this problem. If your jaw is moving in one direction and the face is moving in the opposite direction, what could be causing this? Well, the only thing that can turn this part of your head is your neck. If you can't fully rotate your neck so your chin's over your collarbone on one side and the other, these facial exercises are only gonna get you so far. But don't worry, there's something you can do within the exercise we've been practicing that'll get you covered. Moving the jaw in one direction and the tongue in the opposite direction. Whichever way you're pushing your jaw, slowly turn your head in the opposite direction. Make sure your head spins. You don't want to side bend over to get it in position. For extra credit, bend your elbow and reach your arm slightly forward and across towards your chest, like you're holding a jacket over your shoulder. If you quietly breathe in through the nose for a five to 10 count and exhale at the same pace, this will move the upper ribs, which help encourage the upper back to begin rotating because this area also rotates when you turn your head. Hold the position for five sets of five to 10 breaths. Now, if you also are someone who has jaw pain or you still got a little bit of popping and clicking, you might wanna try some of the exercises in this video right here. They go along quite well, especially if you've addressed some of the jaw asymmetry.